Right, it's the 6th of March 2021. I'm in, actually in Hutton Wood. Normally I skirt round it. Today, mainly because what happened was there were some people, a group of people come and I thought, oh, I just go up there a minute while they pass. And then I thought, well, why don't you just carry on up that little track, which is basically like a deer track. And uh, so I've actually enabled me for the first time ever to get in the tra in the in this part of the wood which I don't think you'd be able to even find this path in a couple of months time I think um, you can see people coming sitting out here and having a fag and everything can't you I think this would lead down to a field the path seems to be sort of going off in different directions now um, Hutton Church is just over there so what I'm hoping, I just saw a massive raven and I thought, God, and it just, I, my camera was so slow it just wouldn't click. Anyway, I'm just really just roaming about, um, hoping to pick up maybe another track, which is, I'm instead of going that way, which would take you down into a field down there, which you can go across to come out into Canada Coombe. Basically, I'm, I'm walking round, that's, that's what I want to do. Just walk around this bit. There's no real paths. So it's a case of going through, walking through the wood. Now I know if you go down there, you end up on a track that take you up Canada Coombe. <sighs> Dig in here, signs of badger or deer here. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I know that there's a gate and a path that goes up the top. I'm just literally going to walk up through the top here. Just remember I've never done this before and it will be impossible in a couple months time to do what I'm doing because this will all be thick and high. Now for all I know there could be a lovely little path over there but sometimes you have to walk. But there is a path here at Deer use. So I can see it. Faint outline of, of a path. Yeah, there there's probably is a track. I'm sure humans would have another bit of disturbance there. Let's hope it's not a black, big black panther or whatever you call it. I don't want to roam too far away from the track over that way. So I'm hoping to join up with it. Now all this is either wild garlic or bluebells here. Um... Some of my walks I normally do this time of year, which is not the season of the cow, I'm actually having a break from them for a year. Um, it is nice to be able to just have a break from one, but otherwise it becomes too routinized, your walks, you see. You start falling into a routine, and I don't want to do that. There's a big open space up here. This, this was probably a small hill fort in the past. I would have thought the way it's constructed that this would have been Hutton's hill fort. They all would have had them. What I'm going to do is tuck my socks in in a minute. Fortunately, it's not quite time of the tick, but it could be. And they'll be very hungry when they wake up now. So I'm just going to stop over here and tuck my socks in. Tuck my socks in my shoes. Yeah, an open space here. And I'm, I'm going to sort of aim in that sort of direction, hoping I can find a, a gate or a way. Um, and I'll gradually do a bit more exploring. A bit of recce. Over and out for now. There's a farm building up there. Just seems a bit near. But I've just found another path. So... A bit bats live in these holes. Basically, there's a building up there, but it seems too close to be the farm. I must have walked further than I thought. I picked up an old track though. 
up an old track. Ah, there's a pole there. There's a pole. An old track going down by the look of it. Must have missed it. Close to that. Must be over there a bit. Right, we'll go up to that fence. Someone else has been here. Look. Could be the black paste. Yeah, look at that. Wonder how I missed that then. It's probably just over there, my path. We'll go up to here anyway and then. Go from there, I think. I don't want to bump into those huge dogs. Okay, we're on the escape route already. There's a path there. Oh yeah, we've got a path now. This must be the one I was thinking of. A house there. I don't know if that is the house though. <sighs> they probably they've got big dogs here. <sighs> they smell you a mile offshore. I know. <sighs> it's funny you can get a bit disorientated, isn't it? I haven't used this that track a lot. It's well used, that's probably where the dogs run. Wolf, Irish wolfhounds they are. It's alright, I'm enjoying it. It's exploring. I thought I saw those people again. Cows I see. believe I've gone so far from my normal route. It's amazing. It's good though. It is good. Private dogs, yeah. Ah, there's the ponies. Oh yeah. Right, turn off a minute. Right, so I've walked round. Basically, I've walked round a nice little copse. But there are dogs. I know there are up to three great big Irish wolfhounds that live in that farmhouse. So that was a bit close. And you could see it was regularly used in their private area by dogs running around. And if they got in, you don't just don't know. So it is a bit of a risk doing that. Um, but there are other parts of the wood you could explore. Uh, without having to go too close to the farmhouse. But anyway, I'm back where I would have been ages ago, but it was worth exploring. Nothing is ever a waste of time. Um, I might bump into those people that passed me earlier. They had a child with them and a dog, and they might have just walked up to Hutton Wood and back, or they might be on a circular. But I recognise the red coat. So... Yeah, I've been through there before now, and you've got the golf course up there, and that's the way I would have come. Now, I avoided all that mud. By going round, I avoided all that, and um, very slippery conditions, so... Yeah, but you know, the, the, the way I've just gone, though, is a risk of ticks, and it'll be a lot more overgrown um, very soon as the weather gets warmer and 
that will be overgrown. So I'm glad I've done it now. It's a good idea. It wasn't a waste. It was great exploring more of Hutton Wood that I don't normally get to see. And it'll be worth diverting up there again a little bit to take images of the wild garlic and bluebells. That's if that's what that plant is. But I do know that those dogs are back. Now they seem to have been missing a bit last year, those big dogs. Um, but there's a well-defined, well-used path that when they're let out that they would run round. They patrol those dogs, so fortunately they didn't pick up my scent. So it would have scared me. I wouldn't know what to do. Three of them. You know, give them yes food. Um, so anyway, this, is, this was really murky and mucky when I came about. After the Crooks Peak walk, I came down through here and I had to rush to get my bus. But I, I, in the end, I en ended up waiting 20 minutes anyway. <sighs> but um, I've just come on the number five and I'm walking back. I'm going to be going up to a lovely area that I like to walk down past the orchards um, and then down through the River Axe Valley, if you like, and back towards Bleeden. That's plan A. Now, they do, quite often they have cows out all the year round there, but not the big main herd. So there is a possibility I can get past that, hopefully. But there's some sets here. Don't know if that's more like fox. It's a bit too big for rabbits, I think. Well, it's definitely a warren, isn't it? It's a warren of one sort. I mean, it could be rabbits. They've tidied a lot of this up. That's the sheds, the stables for the ponies. The little blonde ponies. So they've been having a little bit of a tidy up and planted some new trees, I've noticed as well. They've planted some more trees. So you, you miss a lot of stuff sometimes. This, this is normally thickly overgrown. And it, I've had to have a stick before now and bash my way through. But because of the COVID and more people being at home, more people out walking, everything's widened, everything's muddier. Everywhere, on all my walks, it's the same. Now today I've come out because there's supposed to be no rain. It's going to be dry, very little wind. Although no, not much blue sky. I mean, there's a little bit up there. But basically I've taken, I've made myself come out. Because um, I have walked from home this way. But it's, that's a good hour and a half, you know, on your time. So I decided to put my mask on and I've had my jab and get out and uh, like I said I had to rush this walk the other day because of the fear of a bus but I said to myself we'll come back another time Michelle. I just missed two massive ravens though my camera just wouldn't click in time they were massive People coming. Right, let's turn off. We've got people coming now. I don't know if they're coming down here. 